Okay, so let's start the bad guys off with the foot soldier. Um, this has got to be one of my favorites. Um, he has a uh, his his hips are only swivel jointed, but the way they're sculpted, they have they like move really weird. Um, he has like a really crouched over stance. He actually almost reminds me of a xenomorph. You know the the aliens from the movie of the same name. I mean, with the elongated head, crouched posture, he really does look like they were going for that. Uh, the arms have a little bit more give in them. They almost feel like there's a sh a really shallow ball joint in that shoulder. And the arms, they move. You know, they you have the same swivel. Uh, yeah, like, just for this guy's weird, lanky look, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, you see there's a foot emblem on his forehead. I'm not sure how well that's coming out. Um, I don't know, they, there are these random weapons that I found, not sure who goes with what. I think this is some kind of turtle sensor. I have no idea if he's supposed to be able to hold it or not, because I have no idea if he comes with it. But let's move on to a more well-known villain, Leatherhead. <laughs> um, probably not the most well-known villain. Uh... I don't really remember the, how the original Leatherhead was depicted in cartoons very well. It was a long time ago. Uh, he has an opening mouth. He has a really, really squat posture. Let, let's putting him next to one of the turtles. He's actually pretty short. I mean, he he has the length. He's as he's as long as any figure. It's just that his posture is so flat. I mean. I suppose it's good because he can go right for their midsection when he bites them, but he looks really short. Um, he does have swivels. No, no, these are ball joints. They're ball joints in his hips. Swivel shoulders. Uh, wrists do not move on this guy. I guess they gave up his wrists so he could have a mouth. Obviously a weapon's supposed to go there. Uh, no idea which one. Um, although they do have weapons sculpted in, like the knife strapped to his shoulder there. Um, and he has like a, a, tur a dead turtle hanging off of his belt. Not sure how that's showing up because it's sculpted in but not painted. Okay. Alright. I think I know what you want to see. You want to see the main bad guys that they felt that they fought every week. Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh my god, I can't remember which one was which. Bebop has to be the boar. Yes, he has a he has a mohawk going on. He has the shades. Yeah, this is Bebop. Uh silver shoulders, silver wrists. Um I think the big drill gun was his. I I justified because boars find food by digging for it. And this is a weapon that would dig. Uh, the hips are ball jointed, and he actually he actually stands pretty good. Tons of sculpted detail. Um, they didn't paint the skull on his shoulder, but his chain belt and his necklace are, and they look pretty cool. Uh, and they're all these are also some pretty big guys, significantly taller than the turtles. Um, of course, what would Bebop be without his partner Rocksteady? Bebop will now give up the floor. Uh, Rocksteady, couple of uh, rhino guns, uh, band-aids. This guy looks like he's freaking having roid rage going on. He has a rubber belt that I did not lose that has lots of weapons on it. Grenades, knives, daggers, shuriken, um, a gun. <laughs> Uh, army camouflage pants, ball jointed hips, and this one is a gimmick figure. He, this little pouch here, it's a wind up key. So let's give that a few winds. Yeah, of all the Ninja Turtle figures I have, this is the only one with a gimmick. And it still works. And it actually doesn't compromise articulation. That's how you put a gimmick in. 
Of course, they none of them ever had torso articulation, and they only have swivel shoulders. But yeah, the articulation that these guys normally have is not hampered by his gimmick. So that's how you incorporate a gimmick, folks. And next we have Krang. I don't have Krang's humanoid suit. I never did, even as a child. But I do have this pod with the toilet plunger gun. Um, the arms are movable. And the pod itself has like a chicken walker thing going on. You can move the legs and they can stand straight up on them. But, uh... I always I always like to bend them like this because that, that's just how a chicken walker looks. Uh, the arms come off. They're held on by just this much. And you know what? I actually kind of prefer it bare bones like this. You know, it looks like Krang's backup mode of mobility. Like, like it allows him to walk around and if he needs to manipulate anything, he does it with these little tentacles. And of course it opens up. And the Krang figure itself is a finger puppet. When am I gonna get a body? Um, yeah, nice blue veiny details, lots of brain wrinkles. Yeah, this is your, this is your, this is your brain. This is your evil mutant talking brain from Dimension X. And, of course, we have to end the villain montage with some ooze canisters. I think the colored one came with a special figure of mine, but most of them will come with these. Alright, I'm just kidding. Shredder! Who probably held up the least. Why is his head so scratched up? I have no idea. Why is, why is his helmet... Why are... Why are... Blue! The helmet and the weapons are all blue. Metal isn't naturally blue! Unless it's really badly corroded, like, I don't know. There's some metal that turn blue when they corrode. I'm drawing a blank. Um, he is not naked. They painted his pants in, at least. So he has black pants on. And this guy has such a weird sculpt that... It's almost impossible for him to stand. I mean, this is Shredder. And look at him. He's so gangly and lanky. And he's all splayed out. I mean, if he was standing up straight, he'd be a pretty tall guy. I mean, he's as tall as the Ninja Turtles are. Even when he's all slumped, slumped over like this. But, damn, show some pride, man. Why are you so squished up in yourself? And, you know, you can put a cell phone up to his ear, like... I'm busy. Call back later. And, um... The hand is sculpted so that you can put an ooze canister in it. But, damn! What is up with this guy's sculpt? It's weird. It's worse than April's. And that's a shame, because this is Shredder. Oh, and when you look under his cloth cape, he's not wearing a shirt. And he actually looks kind of bony and scraggly. This is Shredder? I don't know, the, the new Shredder figures are a ton better than this. But he is the original. Might want to take a paintbrush back to that head to restore its original glory. What glory there is to be had in a blue helmet. I don't know. Um, so that's the Shredder. Oh, yeah, ball-jointed hips. But the legs... The legs, the way they're sculpted, there's really only one position you can put them in where he'll actually stand. Barely. Uh. Okay, so, you think I'm done? Well, they... I do have the exclusive movie figures. Uh, some of them. A couple of them. Two of them. <laughs> um, there is the movie version of Splinter with his soulful eyes and his cut off ear and his much more humanoid posture uh, compare him to cartoon splinter with his soulless white eyes and his big ass nose 
and hunched over posture. His feet aren't as flat, so he doesn't stand as straight, but his tail can act as an emergency tripod. And uh, he has a cloth cape, uh, wrist swivels, shoulder swivels, head swivel. Um, legs are on a V-cut swivel, which is one of my most hated kinds of swivel. And he has a cane. I think this is supposed to be his cane. Although, why a movie figure which is made relatively more realistically has a bright green cane, I don't know. Probably not even his cane. But he can hold it. I don't know. That looks pretty good for a splinter figure. Uh, nice, good-looking splinter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I really preferred movie splinter over cartoon splinter because, well, he looked more like cartoon splinter to me. I mean... His nose may have been a different shape, and his fur may be a different pattern, but, you know, he looks like a sensei. He doesn't look like something that's going to bite your face off. And there's one more movie-exclusive figure that I have, largely because I didn't... Again, because I thought he looked better than his regular cartoon counterpart. Super Shredder! As you may remember from the movie... Uh, the, sh the second movie, Secrets of the Ooze, um, after being defeated, the Shredder um, drank what was left of the Ooze and turned himself into a big, gnarly monster guy. Although, how that would change his clothes, I have no idea. Um, his helmet looks like it's been welded together from saw blades, and he has some really gnarly shoulder pads with gigantic spikes. Um, this guy, he looks a whole heck of a lot more badass than regular Cartoon Shredder. Except that he's not all that tall. I mean, I think, canonically, the turtles are only supposed to be, like, four foot six or something, four foot eight. They're, they're definitely less than five feet tall, from what I understand. So, that would make this Shredder really short. You'd think, you'd think mutating yourself into a giant Hulk man would make you a little taller. I mean, compared to Cartoon Shredder, they're eye to eye, but when you, com when you compare the length of their legs, if they were straight, this Shredder would be all the way up here. Um... He doesn't have any cloth on him. His little dress is sculpted in. I like that. Um, really nice sculpted detail. Yeah. This is actually a really good shredder. I mean, he may not be the best articulated figure ever, and he may be kind of short, but he's a lot better than the regular cartoon shredder. Alright, and I do have one more figure left. That would be the gimmicky figure. Um, baseball Raphael. Uh, he plays for the Yankees, apparently, given the way his outfit looks. Um, he has a glove, and this is supposed to be, like, some kind of stand. Like, I'm missing the piece in the middle, and this will go on top of it, and then he would hit it with the baseball bat. Um, I can still show off his baseball gimmick, though. Uh, you put the bat in the glove, um... And, yes, actually, the way his arms are sculpted, even though he only has four, four swivels, two in the shoulders and two in the elbows, he can stand like he's ready to bat. Good on them. And then you... Then you, uh... Pull back and... Swing! Yeah, swing better. Forget the fact that the way your arms are positioned... Hold on. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Like, this... Oh, yeah, you, you pull him back and then... Hopefully your thumb doesn't get in the way. Ha! <laughs> so, yeah. Baseball Raphael. Uh, he is the same height as regular Raphael. And mostly has the same face. His lip is closed in the front. Now look, his shoes actually have the toes sculpted in. Two-toed shoes. But yeah, that is my 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection. Well, I do have one more, but let's save that for another video because I kind of want to make that one special.